Down. I'm fighting that bitch. I have made it to the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of cold, it's a little windy. The road to get here and to get to West Fjords is very beautiful. Oh, that means it is very beautiful, but it's also very rough and brutal. Uh, the roads aren't paved, a lot of sharp turns with no guardrails. It's, it's pretty sketchy, but in my opinion, it's all worth it. And we have made it to Dejandi to see this beautiful waterfall that everyone always talks about. And we went out of our way just to see it. And in my opinion, it was totally worth it. I wish we would have some uh, better weather, but overall, I'm very glad we came here today.
That, in all honesty, was the best tasting water I've ever had. <laughs> I've never had water that tasted better than that. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just the best tasting water ever. It's so clear, it's so clean. It tastes like what water should taste like. Isn't that right, Brian? And it's wet like water too. It's also very wet. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for checking out the the falls with us, the uh, Jardin Park Falls. The Jardin Falls. Jardin Falls. There we go. The Jardin. The Jardin. The Jardin Falls. Thanks for checking it out with us. The Jardin Falls, the guys. The Jardin Falls. Ah. Oh. down there I mean so we kind of we kind of got an option here we got like landslide rocks on the road we have a beautiful paved road right by the coast which one would you guys rather the GPS take? GPS actually said like we have to go here so what's funny is that the GPS actually told us to go this way and this road has not been used in a very long time. As you can see with the big boulders and rocks that, you know, started falling from landslides and such. But right down here is actually where the brand new freshly paved road is, which is right by the coast, which is a lot nicer and a lot smoother. So make sure you guys always double check because uh, we probably would have been, we probably would have gone through a tire or two on this road. That's the one I should fight, right? Yeah. So, you can find these all over, just, you know, on the side of the road, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna try talking to them, yeah. Ma. Ma. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Ma. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna know. He's staring me down. I'm fighting that bitch. Yeah! Hold on, my water! <laughs>
This is a tunnel, holy shit. There's literally one lane. This looks like a one lane in uh, a one lane tunnel. Look at that, one lane. But they got, a, they got a speed camera in here, bro. Look at that. You know, thank, thank God we're the only, we're the only idiots driving through this tunnel at 10.45 at night. 11.45. Finally made it to the place we're staying. It's almost one in the morning. It's currently like 1233 or something like that. And we're right in between the fjords in this small little fishing town, Isofjordur. We've been driving here the whole day. It was maybe a six hour drive, but like since we're sightseeing the whole day, it took us a long time. And it is kind of chilly and the rain is, uh, is making the cameraman a little shaky. <laughs> and I can't wait to get some rest. This is where we're staying, you know, everyone in town is asleep right now, but we just came in and what's really cool about our TV is that it is actually a very big projector and there's the white screen over here. We're going to go over to the kitchen real quick and there's actually a basement, which is pretty sweet and this is our kitchen and I honestly think that this is beautiful, especially for like just the area we are, it's just like kind of like really new and upkept and I really love it. It's awesome here. And especially just for one night. 